I've been the general manager of our co-op for just a few months, and uh, when I became general manager, one of the first comments I got from a customer was, you're going corporate. The co-op has become too corporate. And over the last few years, we remodeled a, our existing store, we built a second store in what had been a food desert, and my response to the accusation of becoming corporate um, was that we aren't a corporation, we're a cooperative. We are interested in profit, but our profit allows us to have the maximum impact in our community. And so some of the ways that we have grown our impact in the community are um, we launched an access discount program that provides everyday discounts to our underserved uh, shoppers. We have now two uh, beautiful stores. The most recent one that we opened was in what had been a food desert. Um, we have 128, 27, maybe 29 employees, but um, we um, have great benefits and uh, great pay for our staff. Um, and as we grow our impact, we're able to grow our impact in the, in the community um, through our programs, through our contributions to uh, local nonprofits, et cetera. So also, um, we purchased over a hundred million, no, not a hundred million, I'd love to say that, <laughs> over a million dollars worth um, from 114 uh, independent vendors right in the immediate um, area around Lake Superior. So, you know, it's been an exciting time, but impact, growing our impact is important. Okay. I hope that. That's, That's perfect. Thank you, Sarah. So